Welcome to Academic Gain Tutorials. In this video, we will look into the differences between retail banking and corporate banking. Banking implies the business carried out or the services offered by the banking company. There are a number of businesses which a bank deals in, including retail banking, corporate banking, merchant banking, investment banking, wealth management, credit management, etc. Retail banking model is designed for the general public, with bank branches set up at different locations in a city which handles retail customers daily. On the other hand, corporate banking is for businesses to help them in raising funds, providing credit, and offering advice. It offers customized finance specifically designed and personalized for corporate houses, as per their needs. So, let's look into the basic differences between retail banking and corporate banking in a tabular form. Difference number one. Retail banking is a business model which the banks implement with the aim of acquiring maximum customer base, by offering various products and services to the individuals, and small business enterprises. Whereas, corporate banking is another business model adopted by the banking companies so as to earn maximum revenue, by offering products and services to the business enterprises and government agencies. Number 2. Under Retail Banking the products and services offered to the customers are usually standardized, also called as off-the-shelf products or services. Whereas, under corporate banking, customized products and services are offered to the clients, depending on their preferences and requirement. Number 3. Talking about the customer base, retail banking often brings a large customer base to the banks, whereas, corporate banking does not have a large customer base but the clients are affluent. Number 4. In retail banking, the processing cost is low, whereas, in the case of corporate banking there is a high processing cost. Number 5. With retail banking, one can avail loan up to 5 crore rupees only, depending on factors like credit score, history, etc., whereas, with corporate banking, the entities can apply for a loan more than 5 crore rupees. Number 6. Although the volume of transactions in terms of clientele is high in retail banking, but the value of transactions is low, because the customer base includes individuals and small businesses such as sole proprietorships, partnership firms, one-man company, etc. On the opposite side, the volume of transactions is low in corporate banking, but the value is quite high, as the client base includes business enterprises and high net worth individuals. And, difference number 7, when it comes to profitability, corporate banking is more profitable in comparison to the retail banking division of the banks. In a commercial bank, both retail banking and corporate banking services are provided, which differs in a number of factors including customers, products or services offered and transaction amount. Retail banking is mass market banking, with a large number of customers and high volume transactions. On the contrary, corporate banking, as the name itself, indicates is the services offered by the banks to the corporate houses, to help them in growing their businesses and running efficiently. So, these are the differences between retail banking and corporate banking. If this lecture was helpful, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.